Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of the NFL Film Room. Today we're going to be breaking down Chicago Bears' fifth round pick, Austin Booker. Booker is a 21-year-old 6'6", 245-pound edge rusher. He had 56 tackles and 9 sacks last season at Kansas. He's also one of my personal favorite prospects in the draft due to his traits that we're going to dive into now. The first rep is going to be going up against Deion Dawkins, who's a Pro Bowl left tackle for the last three years. And I'm just going to play it one time. And we're going to see his long strides kind of really get into his chest. And he's able to get his left arm kind of under Dawkins' right shoulder. And he's going to be able to extend him and work to the QB. But Allen's able to escape. This is one of the more impressive things with Booker in his college tape. Just the amount of punch he's able to generate while only being 245 pounds. He's going to knock Dawkins back, who's 320 pounds. Clears him out. He's able to work back to the QB. We're going to have another rep against Dawkins here. He's able to use his length again to get hands on him first and kind of clear him out. And he's going to get that arm under the shoulder again, which allows him to work for what kind of looks like a hump move, but it's hard to really tell from this angle. And you're going to see what would be a lane to the QB if the guard didn't come over and help. Maybe not the most eye-catching reps, but for a fifth-round rookie edge rusher to be challenging a three-year Pro Bowl left tackle in only his second game is very impressive. Next rep, he's going to be working against Ryan Van Denmark, who was an undrafted free agent in the 22 draft. It's going to be very similar to the last rep. He's going to work towards that inside shoulder, push it out of the way, and try to get to the QB, but once again, guard help. Here's a little better view. You can see him go to punch for that left shoulder and try to push that out of the way and get to the inside. The guard help comes. Not able to pick up the sack. Or he would have had three and a half sacks this game. This next rep is going to be a little bit of a reward for the last one, and there's just going to be a miscommunication among the Bills O-line. He's going to go around and pick up the sack. Fifth rep, this is going to be another sack. He's going to do a similar move, and he's going to stick with it and be able to work back to the QB. This rep is a good example of just how long Booker's strides are and how quickly he can get to the guys because of them. He hasn't done it too much yet in the pros, but in college he was able to win inside. He was able to go through you, and he was able to go around you, so he's got the tackle guessing at this point. And he's just going to plant his foot in the ground, work back into him. And he's going to get to the QB, stick with it, and there we go, sack number two. Rep number six, we're going to see him get chipped by the tight end and then kind of stumble a bit. Redirect, make a nice play. What's most impressive for me about this rep is just the ability to go from here to seeing what the guard's doing, countering off of it quickly, and then working to the QB. Rep number seven, the D-line is going to slant to the right and leave him with a one-on-one -on -one against the guard. It's a great example of just the power that he contains in his hands. He's going to be able to pretty much lift this guy up in the air. His, foot, his feet are off the ground at this point. Push him out of the way and just work right to the QB. He's only 245 pounds right now, and his frame easily would allow at least 10. It's, it's very exciting just to think about what this guy could be like when he is 255 if he adds on the right weight and can keep his speed. Because if he is doing that at 245, just think about what it would be at 255, 260. Rep number eight, this is going to be a spin to the outside, which is something I don't remember seeing much out of him in college, but with the way that he's adjusted his game to the pros so far, just based off two games, more power-based, it's definitely a good counter because guys are going to start committing to that. Next rep is going to be a chase down tackle. This is something that was all over Booker's college film, and it's really what allowed him to rack up 56 tackles while not even being a starter for Kansas. It's just he's constantly in pursuit of the play. It's probably what made Matt Eberflus like him so much. Thank you for watching the first episode of the NFL Film Room. Let me know which players you'd want me to do a breakdown for in the future. I'm still learning a lot of the terminology, so if I do make a mistake, feel free to correct it. And make sure to like and subscribe so I know you want more of these in the future.